Dig through that closet, find your best purple shirt. I can see you've done that. Mm -hmm. you got a little purple. i got a little purple on as well. Um, but today is put on Purple Day for a good reason. Yeah, with that color comes a message. Today is also World Lupus Day. The debilitating autoimmune disease affects more than one million people in the U.S. Joining us live right now to help us raise awareness this morning and to talk about an upcoming event here in Portland is Shannon Box, a Lupus Foundation of America ambassador. Good morning, Shannon. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so first, I guess, let's just kind of start off with, for anyone who is unfamiliar, tell us a little bit about lupus, about this autoimmune disease, and, and your journey with lupus. When were you diagnosed, and, and how has it been for you? Yeah, um, lupus is a chronic autoimmune disease that causes inflammation and pain in any part of your body. Um, pretty much, it's your immune system that usually attacks maybe the flu, or when you're sick, it's actually starting to attack your healthy tissue. Um, instead. And so it causes all of these symptoms, uh, symptoms like extreme fatigue, joint pain, you can have organ issues, um, skin rashes, which I have the butterfly rash underneath my makeup. Um, and it can also cause a lot of joint pain. So it can cause a lot of different things. It's very different for every individual that has lupus, which makes it very difficult also to diagnose. Mm. And then I was also <clears throat> diagnosed in 2008. The first time I felt symptoms was back in 2002. Wow. So wow. it took quite a while for me to figure it out. Um, I went through at least four different doctors um, just to even get to that point where they were telling me that I had lupus. Is that why, you know, sometimes when, when we try to, you know, put these types of awareness months, you know, on a platform to, to make mm -hmm. sure people know about, you know, whether it's lupus or, or cancer research, anything, um, you know, it, it's, it's not just because it's lupus month that we're doing it. There's a reason behind right. it. You know, is, is it important to be aware because of situations like that, you know, to take six years to get properly diagnosed? Right. And that's the big thing. And that's why we're raising so much awareness. A lot of it is education, um, educating people on the signs and symptoms, um, to help them reduce the time to diagnosis. And then also, you know, to um, raise awareness of how people are impacted by this disease um, so that there's other people that can really help them. Um, it is, you know, a very mysterious type of disease. Uh, we look very normal. We don't look sick all the time. There's, it's a sickness of flares. So you can feel really, really good. And then you can have a flare that could last a day, a week, months. Um, and, you know, from the outside, we do look normal. And so I think it's really raising awareness to, what this disease is really doing to people on an everyday basis. Yeah, it can be one of those invisible illnesses that can just be so debilitating, mm -hmm. but but hard to, uh, you know, kind of walk through the world with. So, you know, when you talk about getting a diagnosis, has that opened doors for you with, with treatment, with ways to now address this? Have things gotten better? Yeah, definitely. And the Lupus Foundation of America is a great place to start. As soon as I was diagnosed, that was where I went, to lupus.org. Um, they have so many tools and resources there to help people that have lupus, to help people that are helping others that have lupus, um, maybe caretakers. Um, it's just a great place to go to kind of start to understand what is going on with your body, um, to find tools to manage, because at this point there is no cure. Um, and that's why we also want to raise awareness is to, um, it's very underfunded. Um, we only have three drugs that are specifically for those with lupus. Um, and we want to find better alternatives and we want to find better ways to help manage our disease so that we can live the best life that we can live. Mm -hmm. um, because as of right now, there is no cure and we would love to find one. Well, Absolutely. before we let you go, uh, I want to make sure that you uh, do have the platform to be able to tell us, you know, how people can get involved and, and continue to, to raise awareness for this issue. Yes, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, best way today is wear your purple. Take a picture, share it on Instagram, share it on social media, um, tag, you know, uh, Lupus Awareness Month. Um, you know, other ways that you can help become an advocate is just, you know, talk about lupus, talk about it and make sure that there's more people that can understand it. You can do walks. Um, October 8th, we have a walk here in Portland. It is starting at Providence Park. Um, which is the soccer stadium, which is very dear to my heart because obviously I played soccer for so many years. Um, and then, you know, like I also run my own lupus fundraiser. Uh, August 26th will be the second annual one. It's a wine event um, out at Longalow Estate. So 
it's just a great way to just help other people understand what this disease is and hopefully they then become advocates themselves and help spread the word of of what this is and how they can help yeah lots more to learn so a, a good way to start here on this world lupus day um and during this awareness month shannon box thank you so much for for being part of that conversation and, and helping us learn more about this disease we can all work to put an end mm -hmm. to no thanks doubt. so much for joining us thank you appreciate again, it yeah and again you can take part in the walk to end lupus coming up this fall we'll of course remind you when we get a little closer but mark your calendars it's happening october 8th at providence park and for more info you can go to walk to end lupus.org portland awesome.